Good morning. Good morning. My name is Marianne Ald, and it is my privilege to serve as the chair of the DRC Board of Directors. Thank you all for being here for the ninth annual Breakfast with the Mayor, benefiting the DRC. We're thrilled that you're here this morning to take part in an important conversation. We especially would like to thank our guest of honor, Mayor Betsy Price, for being here and lending her support to the DRC's efforts. Thank you, <laughs> Mayor. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our honorary event chair and our master of ceremonies for this morning, J.R. Labby. J.R. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our breakfast with the mayor. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little horsey. It's stock show time, isn't everyone? <laughs> Um, it is my honor to be here with my colleagues from JPS Health Network to show our support for the important work that's being done by one of our partners that serves the same vulnerable members of our community as the folks we see at JPS. So for those of you who have been with us in the past, you know this event helps to raise resources so the DRC can continue providing services in our community. You can't have a breakfast with the mayor without the mayor. Well, I guess we could, but it would be kind of awkward. But Betsy Price was first elected as Fort Worth's 44th mayor in June of 2011. But that, as we all know, was not her first success at the ballot box. She served as our county's <clears throat> tax assessor collector for more than a decade. We all know about Betsy's undying passion for this community and this city, and her compassion for its residents are visible in her commitment to a robust local economy, a strong partnership with our public school system, which is growing even stronger with the new Fort Worth Literacy Partnership, and her devotion to health and wellness for everyone who calls Cowtown home. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mayor Betsy Price. Howdy. It is Cowtown, it is rodeo time, right? Just a four more performances for the rodeo though, so if you haven't been, get your tickets and get there. This is Cowtown. Mayor Williams from Arlington was there last night with us. Jeff, it's nice to see you back out this morning. You know, let me thank our sponsors first. Let me thank all of you first for being here. You need to give yourself a round of applause just for getting up and being here this morning. And I want to thank several of our sponsors who are here. Charlotte and Jim Finley have been here from the beginning. Thank you for continuing to be our lead sponsors. <laughs> Kelly Hart and Hallman have done a great job, and especially this morning, Mary Ann Alt. And Mary Ann, as many of you know, was just elected as their new managing partner. Congratulations, Mary Ann. And of course, the Fort Worth Business Press, who, if people think I go a lot of places, they're everywhere, I'm telling you. And to Bruce and his staff, thank you for your hard work and for what you do for this community to make it better. You know, I get the opportunity to travel on your behalf and to talk about Fort Worth a lot. You can't imagine that I talk a lot, right? But I do, because I'm very passionate about this community. I'm very proud of it. But mostly, I get to talk about the people. People will ask me, other mayors will say, why is Fort Worth growing so rapidly? What are you doing? And I always have the pleasure of saying, it's because we have so many caring and compassionate people who really want to lead this city with compassion first in their hearts. So you're to be applauded for that and for what you do. This council, and most of them are here this morning, knows the importance of that connection and knows that we speak to people all over the city. And heaven knows I speak to a lot of people and there's a lot of people in Cowtown now. We gain one new resident in Fort Worth every 24 minutes. I haven't met them all, but I've met a lot of them. 
But there's a growing number of you and the new residents who are concerned about what they're seeing from our homeless population. An increase in the presence on the street, a little bit more of the uh, begging and panhandling. But I know if you're a volunteer or you're committed to this community, you know those stories. You probably know someone who's struggling with chronic homelessness. Oftentimes it is chronic, but more often than not, it's because someone has fallen on tough times, economic situations, a health issue, the loss of a spouse, or the loss of a job all lead to homelessness, not chronic, but those oftentimes who have never experienced it before, who are showing up on the street or at the shelters for the first time. DRC does a wonderful job with helping get people back on their feet and back into housing. There's much work for us to be done in many major cities. In fact, I would hazard to guess in all of them, at U.S. Conference of Mayors, the two most common themes that we talk about are education, homelessness, I guess three, and transportation issues. Without exception, that's what the big cities are looking at. But people have to understand, to continue to move the affordable housing issue forward, you have to understand that we're dealing with distinct groups of homelessness, and everyone's solution is not the same. Whether it's a veteran, a mother and her children, a victim of domestic violence, or those who just suffer from chronic homelessness because of mental health or substance abuse, we must address their concerns. And unfortunately, we also have a growing poverty rate in Fort Worth. Currently, Fort Worth, 16% of our families live below the poverty line. This council is committed to helping address that, as is DRC. Many of these folks are one crisis away from homelessness. We simply have to take that compassionate effort that all of you have and come up with affordable and permanent supportive housing for people. It's critical, we know it is the fastest, the most efficient, and the most likely to succeed among our homeless population. Those who are in the Housing First program, and it's seen remarkable success, 90% of the people in Housing First program are still there one year later, and 85% are still in housing two years later. And DRC is a big piece of helping us make that happen. Not only is it the right thing to do, but it's the fiscally responsible thing to do. A homeless person on the street costs us, on average, 40000 plus a year. Housing is not that expensive. We can and will do this. In March, the City Council will hold a joint meeting with Fort Worth's Advisory Commission to End Homelessness. I hope many of you will come hear what's going on, and let us hear from you about what we're doing. The future of Directions Home, with Directions Home now in its eighth year, will be beginning to change as we focus a little bit more on housing first. It's that spirit of compassion, as I said, and as it says in the book of Matthew, whatever you do for the least of my brothers and sisters among you, you did for me also. I will end my quote of scriptures and turn that over to someone who's much better at it than I am. Dr. Tim Brewster is with us this morning for the invocation. He doesn't need much of an introduction. You know, it's early this morning. <laughs> Talk about talking. I've been talking way too much. Tim is pastor at First Methodist Church, and many of you know him. He and his wife, Sarah, have an incredible servant's hearts, and I'm delighted they're with us. But right now, Tim, it's that granddaughter, Alice Pepper, that you're passionate about. I know something about those grandchildren, and I plan to spend the weekend with mine this weekend. Who's, their father is sitting right here, and he's going, yes, you better show up to babysit. <laughs> so thank you all for caring. And thank you for being with us this morning. Dr. Brewster, would you lead us in the invocation? There are two other grandchildren, and I have pictures, and be happy to share those. <laughs> Let's pray. Oh God, our creator and sustainer, who has filled the world with beauty, with thanksgiving we acknowledge that you are the source of it all. 
This morning, O oh God, we pray that you would open our eyes to your creation, that we may see your gracious hand in all your works, and be wise and careful stewards of what you have entrusted to us. We also pray that you would open our eyes to others, that we may clearly see each one as our sister or brother. Open our ears that we may hear all creation sing your praise. But we also pray that you would open our ears that we may hear the cries of our brothers and sisters in need. Open our hearts that we may love what you love. And open our hearts that any arrogance or hatred would be removed from us. Open our hands that we may give generously from the abundance you have given. And open our hands that we may use them to tear down the walls that divide us and build bridges that connect us. Open our minds that we may grow in wisdom. And we pray that you would open our minds that we may learn the things that make for peace. Enable us, Holy One, with open eyes, ears, hearts, hands, and minds to serve you through serving others. Amen.